these are all objects that were created on 3D printers. And there are different types of 3D printers. You'll see most of these objects are white using a hard ABS plastic. Others will have multiple colors. Um, and then others can even do different material. Some 3D printers will even do metal, uh, titanium. So there are a lot of medical applications like an artificial hip, which is uh, very custom made for an individual can be 3D printed out of titanium. The way it works is it uh, starts with a plate uh, and then layer by layer, a uh, very, very thin layer at a time, it builds up this model. Uh, and you can see down here, there's this darker material, which is called the support material, and then the actual model material. And so the support material is used anywhere that uh, is required to provide a little bit of structure and then you dump this into a lightweight acid bath and it uh, dissolves the support material and you're left with just the finished product. Many of these pieces are uh, really intricate and very kinetic so this piece was created in a single pass in the 3D printer. It's not put together link by link and again the way that was done is with the support material filling in the gaps and then you drop it into the bath and the support material dissolves and you end up with something like this or like this, a working shock absorber, spring, or even something with, with gears on it. We're seeing uh, this type of 3D printing being used for rapid prototyping uh, by major companies, by uh, small design firms, and even by individuals. So uh, we're seeing a trend of consumers creating things and being able to submit them to services on the web where uh, they could uh, have a, a rapid prototype sent to them or even a finished manufactured product sent to them.